Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Sunless Sea with the Unterzee expansion. It's with a heavier heart that I bring this video to you today, as I'm sure many of you are aware. Total Biscuit, also known as the Cynical Brit, passed away today. Um, whether or not you enjoyed his content or even watched it, there's no denying that he was a powerhouse in the gaming community and he brought a lot of insight and um, integrity into the gaming community, especially in games like StarCraft II, Hearthstone, Warframe. He is very well known for his WTF Is series, which brought, or well, I guess, Sean a spotlight on a lot of indie games that maybe wouldn't have been as well known or as noticed if he didn't. So I just wanted to observe a moment of silence for him. If you don't want to partake, that's fine. Just skip ahead to about the two minute mark. Otherwise, we're just going to have a minute of silence for the loss of Total Biscuit in respect to his family and to his contribution to the gaming community. Alright, let's get this video underway. So we are at the Isle of Codex. And we were just about to leave, I believe. So, where are we going to head off to? We're going to head to the east, I believe. Head towards Frostfound, I believe. It's kind of where we want to take our ship. We're still so slow because of that engine. We haven't gotten a new engine yet, or a new ship, or... a new gun. So we still have all the basic stuff, which is kind of unfortunate because the basic gun in this game sucks. I think that's Frostfound right there, actually. I'm 99% sure. Yep, it certainly is. Frostfound is usually in the same sort of area in the game. We'll shine our light on it to get that sweet gathering fragments, which we did pick up, so that's good. Um, I don't know if there's much of a point in stopping in just yet. We don't... Well, we do have fairly high mirrors. We might be able to get something done here. We'll give it a shot anyways. We're here, we might as well. At the very least, we'll grab a port report, because those are super useful in not starving to death or running out of fuel. The important things in life. I'm really, really curious as to what happens when you actually can open up Frostfound and do all of its main quests. I'm super, like, I just, I don't know what it does, and I really want to know. Frostfound, towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice, raised and spun like an architect's honey dream. No spider ever wove so complex a web. The towers are utterly pristine, untouched by human life, but a pitiable encampment squats by the dock. We can engage a... Engin er, an officer, the tireless mechanic. He's an engineer and he is super duper useful and we're going to grab him. The tireless mechanic has had enough of Frostfound. He smiles at you over his spectacles, teeth chattering. Brrr. So glad to see a ship at last. Ready to offer my services. I'm an engineer. Finest you'll ever hire. Treat engines like my own children. Not that I have any children. Too busy. Usually busy. He increases our veils and our fuel efficiency. We're going to pick him up because he's really, really useful. I just bought my microphone. Sorry about that. All right, we can also do some stuff about the castle. So we can take tea with the squatters at the dock. We can ask the squatters about the castle. We can't enter Frostfound because we need 50 mirrors and we only have 26. Oh, right, we went with pages. For some reason, I thought we went with mirrors, but that's Sunless Sky. So. so we should allow the Sly Navigator to examine the tower. He climbs the steps, panting eagerly. This is the Z, you see, he calls back. The Z risen to become land. Ice is the Zol of the Z. In ice, we find the Z at her most exemplary. And he's off again. You leave him to examine the tower. 
staring up at the battlements, his breath dragon huffing. We lost our navigator, actually, which is kind of unfortunate. Where is he? Only a few minutes later, you glance back, and the navigator is gone. You climb the steps to examine the spot where you saw him last. His coat lies in the snow. His footprints end at the tower wall. You poke through his coat and find a brass telescope from the Conate, a much annotated chart, tobacco, an alarming quantity of lice, but the navigator is gone. You never see him again. So we found a revelatory chart and an outlandish artifact on his body. Let's ask the squatters about the castle. We got a tale of terror. If you could enter, you should not. We get enthusiasts here from time to time. Yes, you might be able to enter the castle before the appointed time. You might even find something of value there, but you'll be despoiling sacred ground, my friend. It will take your stories from you. It will take your essence, yourself. And if you survive that, you'll likely anger the gods of the Z. Yes, they're real. As real as the corridors of Frostfound are. Stay away, my friend. Stay away. Let's create a port report. Not all are Urimi or Withern. There's the odd researcher, the occasional deranged ice sculptor. Now and then, a very cold, very sad rubbery man, but for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry, rivalry reigns. Tough word. Let's throw the chief engineer in. We also have two new mascots. One gives us plus two irons, and one gives us plus two veils. We're going to take the two veils, I think. Why not? And our engineer gives us plus eight veils and fuel efficiency plus five. So we're going to leave Frostfound now and head off further east. Unfortunately, the places we need to go as part of our quests are a little bit far away. Worryingly far away, actually, and our terror level is doing okay, but we'll uh, slip on our light. We have a lot of fuel currently, although in the future I would like to get more fuel, though our old can't really contain that that much more, so that's where we're kind of at in the fuel front. I'm not going to do jump cuts this video. Normally I would, as per our discussion at the beginning of this series, but I'm just sort of going to let the somber mood play out as opposed to jumping from one exciting part to the next. This is a day not of excitement or, I guess, glee, sort of a somber day. And so we're gonna play it out that way. There's definitely something there. What is that? It's like an island with a little light on it? The Shepherd Isles is some distance to the southeast. We could head towards that. In fact, we may as well. There is some scary music playing and I'm kind of worried about it. There's some legit worrying music playing as I'm sailing up there, so maybe if we go down here it'll be a little bit less scary. This is Shepherd's Wash, the salty hinterland of London, home to hermits, nuns, and shadowy business. There's a pirate ship there. Let's go kill it. There's a lot of fog up here, and what is going on with the terrifying music? He's in gun range, so we're going to start getting our lock on. Although, he's turning. Possibly not fast enough to shoot at us. I think we have him. We have him now. We could bring our light about to bear, I guess, and uh, lock on faster. Oh, he got me. What a jerk. What did we get? We got a fuel. That's it. That wasn't super exciting, but I guess it worked out for us. This is Sunless Sea making this game right now. Anything else running in the background? No, I guess not. Am I sure that I don't? I definitely don't. Very cool song, though. Of course, the bearded watchman tells you, there is no actual shepherds on the Shepherd Isles. Sheep are mostly illegal here. No, indeed, it's just the name of the gentleman that found the Isles. Greybeards, sitting in the village square, nod solemnly. No sheep, one says, but plenty of tales. Ask us anything. 
So we can go picnic at the standing stones. We lose five echoes. And we might get terror. We can just get tales of the standing stones. We can go see tales of the three graves. Tales of Thornwell Croft. Compile a port report. Let's do that first. Oh, yes, yes, my yes, there's been goings on. In the bleak light of the false stars, surface roiling like a porridge pot. Up with a roar of steam and a flash of fire, three windows swim in tentacles. Then we saw his highness. There's a rather lot of this material. We now have a port report. We could take a picnic at the standing stones. In fact, let's do that. Your sailors watch the fireflies shimmer, swap shanties, pass around the grog and shy stones at the more vampirically inclined Z-Bats. Grasses nod in the breeze across the water. The lights of the Abbey Rock glow watchfully. That's it for now. Let's engage an officer, the sigil-ridden navigator. He has 50 echoes, which is kind of expensive, but that is okay because we need a navigator. Aye, let me guide your ship. I know all the Z, how it was, how it will be. Please, the headaches only stop when I'm working. Thank you, the nonsense here was a distraction for a while, but only the Z can help me now. Oh my god, the air, the air, it's clearer already. Let me chart a course for you. Oh, my head, my head. A pointer new officer. Oh, I know how to do that. Okay. So we have a new officer, a navigator. I think is a first officer, technically. So six mirrors and three veils. He has a side quest as well. I am almost certain of it. We could continue to the east, but I think we're going to start to loop south. We have quite a ways to go until we actually hit places like the um, Empire of Hands and possibly the Cat Island, Curious Cat Island, something Cat Island. An island of some sort that has some sort of cats. Oh, here's the Abbey. Why is my Z-Bat not working? Oh, there it is. Station 3 is also some distance to the southeast. Oh, this is Station 3. Okay. Unfortunately, Station 3 is not particularly useful for now. We don't have any of the items we need to get inside, but we can at least grab a port report for the place. And then we'll deal with that a little bit later, I suppose. There are quests involving Station 3, but it is not quite ready to go yet. Whee! That was a close turn in Station 3. Machinery hums behind high steel walls. Up the hill, there are visible outlines of warehouses and a building with a spire, but the lamps are low where they burn at all, and your ship, the only one in harbor, will train our telescope on the shore. You stand on the high point of your ship and look to the shore. There is a steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, and nor any other symbol you recognize. We could try the, uh gate, but that's not going to be likely. We could try the mirror's quest. Search for signs of other visitors. It never hurts to know who you're up against. We did succeed, actually. Stacked near the stairs is a pile of worn out tools, tongs whose hinges have given away, a hammer whose head is coming loose from its haft, an anvil whose surface is mazed with deep cracks. We gained ten fragments, and we succeeded in a mirror's challenge. We don't have any Sooth and Cooper long boxes. They are not going to open the door for us, so we're just going to head out. And see where else we can go. I wonder if there's a use to like the smaller, faster ships that you can buy in the game. I think there's one smaller than this. I don't know why you would ever take it though. Your your um hold size would be so itsy bitsy that it'd be kind of painful to do anything with. There's a chili floor. It is definitely going to attack us. And unfortunately, they are pretty good at hitting things. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to dodge fully out of the way. In fact, we did not, and it's right here with us. They are highly maneuverable, and they are just a pain to fight. Luckily, we have quite a bit of hull, so we'll be okay. But we are going to take some serious damage. Ow. Stop it. Stop hitting me. Alright. We can let it disperse. Unlocked when survey's visage is blank, or no unlocked with no more than zero, a port report for visage. We will let it disperse. We now have one Z story from above the jelly flowers. Cap does look like a woman's face. She dissolves like smeared paint. 
We're 36 out of 75 hull, however, which is not ideal. We have a modest challenge. Inquire about their dreams the next morning. What did they see? In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch of the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. We've gained 10 terrors, but 20 fragments. The whole neath lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something on the roof, Captain. It's in the roof. It's watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. Yes, you say softly. You lay your hand on the sailor's burning forehead. There are storms in the roof. Hush. We won't join them yet. Let's uh, stop in here. This is the lion's gate. Tiger's gate. Something. Twin lions? It's all lions. That's what it's called. That was close. I knew it was something to do with lions, or I was pretty sure it had something to do with lions. But we are also out of time on this video. We're at just over 15 minutes. Actually, a little over 16 minutes. So we will hop into the zeal port and we'll call it a video there. So that's going to be it, everyone. And this is where I'll leave you for the night. Um, no Pillars of Eternity tonight, nor Sunless Skies. It's actually quite late. I had a game with some friends today, so that was my evening. And I just wanted to get out at least one video before bed. I will do more videos tomorrow as it is Friday and I will have some spare time. So I'll do a bunch of Pillars of Eternity, some Sunless Skies, and more Sunless Sea. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.